Welcome and thank you for sharing your time on the mat with me today. I am totally Santadea from Andromeda Yoga Atelier. We're going to start in the bound angle pose today. So bring your feet together. Interlace your fingers and hook them around your feet. Roll your shoulders back. You can also sit on a block if that's comfortable for you. And pull your arms back. So roll the shoulders back, pull your arms back. Try to align your heart over your pelvis and your head over your heart. Inhale completely. Exhale. And release your arms. Place them on your ankles. Roll the shoulders back, align your heart over your pelvis and your head over your heart. Let the day thus far go and when you're ready, close your eyes or soften your gaze. This is the second practice in the series of 21 practices dedicated to finding your way to or enforce your vision of health happiness and success. The series is based on a workbook written by one of the icons in the field of mental well-being, Louise Hay. To calm our energy down, we are going to do a couple rounds of breath work. We're going to inhale for four and exhale for six. So, inhale. Lengthen through the spine. Four, three, two, one. Exhale. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Four, three, two, one. Exhale. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now continue three more rounds. Inhaling for four, exhaling for six, inhale for four, exhale for six. deeply into the both nostrils and exhale completely and let my voice guide you. Today's title is Decide, Release and Unwind. We already have the tools to change our life for the better inside us. These tools, as simple as they may seem, are thoughts and beliefs about yourself, the others, and the world. You can choose each and every day to be positive and grateful for your wonderful life, independent from what others think. So every time your mind wanders off into the negative, remind yourself of your decision to treat yourself with the love, kindness, and respect you deserve. Our centering thought for today's practice was inspired by Martin Luther King Jr. You don't need to see the whole staircase, just take the first step. You don't need to see the whole staircase, just take the first step.
So every time when you struggle in a certain situation on or off the mat, you can introduce this centering thought into your mind. Write down this thought or your version thereof after the practice and repeat it as often as you can throughout the week. Okay, slowly become aware of your body again. Move your arms to your knees. Slowly open your eyes or refocus your gaze towards me. And we're going to transition to a depth pose. Right heel comes in to our pubic bone and the left heel or the left foot comes towards the right foot. So one foot in front of the other. You can sit in the easy pose as well if you would like to and choose your comfortable seat. Inhale, exhale, loop your shoulders back. Heart is over the pelvis and head over the heart. Inhale, raise your arms up and overhead. As we exhale, we place our left fingertips to our side. Inhale, exhale, and side bend to the left. Open the chest. Inhale, exhale, back to the center, lift both arms, place the right fingertips on the mat, and side bend to the right. Open the chest, maybe look up. Inhale, exhale, return back to the center, place the right palm on your left knee and swim your left fingertips behind yourself. Lengthen your spine. Inhale, grow tall, exhale, look to the left and twist to the left. Inhale, raise both arms up and overhead, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, and we twist to the left. Inhale both arms up and overhead and then swing your arms behind you. I'm going to demonstrate from the side. You can just stay seated where you are and interlace your fingers behind your back and you're pulling your hands down towards the mat and away from your behind. Inhale, open your chest, look up, exhale, release your hands, arch your back, push your sternum towards the rib cage and let your head relax. Inhale, come back to the center and raise your arms up and overhead. Left fingertips on the mat, side bend towards the left. Inhale, both arms up and overhead. Right fingertips are on the mat. Side bend towards the right hand. Inhale to the center, right palm on the left knee and we twist towards the left hand. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, both arms up and overhead. Interlace the fingers behind your sacrum and your hands are pulling towards the mat and away from your bottom. Inhale, look up. Exhale, arch your back. Push your sternum towards the rib cage and relax your head down. Inhale, return to the center and switch your legs. So the left heel comes in and the right heel is in front of the left. And we're going to do the same vinyasa again. So inhale, your arms are up and overhead. Exhale, left palm to the mat. 
side bend towards the left arm open your chest maybe look up inhale both arms up and overhead exhale side bend towards the right inhale to the center exhale twist to the left inhale back to the center exhale twist to the right inhale left palm down right arm up and overhead towards the left side of the body inhale side bend to the right so right palm is on the mat open your chest inhale both arms up and overhead exhale twist to the left inhale stretch your arms up and shoulders away from the ears exhale twist to the right inhale raise your arms up and overhead release your arms interlace your fingers pull the arms down away from your back body inhale look up exhale round through the back push your sternum into the ribcage relax your head and come back to sitting upright in your adept pose or in your easy pose from here transition to all fours so wave with your right hand swim your right hand to the back of your body place the left hand next to the right and voila we are on all fours Find your alignment here. So the shins are parallel to each other. Knees are underneath the hip points. Fingers are spread wide. Index fingers parallel to each other. Shoulders are looped away and back from the ears. And the tail is slightly tucked. So push your belly button towards your rib cage, towards your heart and form one straight line from the crown of your head to your tail. So, tuck your toes and extend the right leg out behind you. Push through your right heel, straighten the back leg and keep the alignment of the spine as straight as possible. Now extend your left arm in front of you. Inhale, as you exhale, bring the left elbow and right knee towards each other. Inhale, extend the arm, extend the leg, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend, exhale, reel it in. Inhale, extend, exhale knee to elbow one more time inhale your left arm parallel to the floor your right leg parallel to the floor exhale knee to elbow and return to your tabletop position extend your left leg out behind you toes are on the mat push towards the left heel straighten the back leg keep the alignment in your spine one straight line lift your arm parallel to the floor inhale exhale bring the left knee and the right elbow together inhale stretch the arm stretch the leg exhale bring them together inhale stretch the arm and the leg exhale bring the knee to the elbow inhale two more times stretch the knee stretch the elbow and bring them back together as you exhale inhale stretch them out exhale knee to the elbow and return to all fours 
from here you're going to walk yourself up slightly and come to a squat if this is uncomfortable for you you can come into the child's pose and rest and meet us um, meet us in the wide-legged child's pose when we're done so we're going to swing our knees to the left and then to the right side to side and you can explore here what feels good how high you need to go or you can rest in child's pose Swing your knees side to side, to the left, to the right. And then stay on one side. Bring your feet together and stay here on one side. Relax your head. And then move to the other side. Bring your knees. And relax your head down again. Return to the center and rest in wide-legged child's pose. So knees are slightly wider than hip width apart. Sit on your calves and Push your tail towards the bottom short edge of the mat and walk your fingertips towards the front short edge of the mat. Arms are extended and active here. Relax your forehead to the ground. So relaxing your forehead to the ground and push your sit bones in the opposite direction. Remember, every positive has a negative. Rest in this position for a few moments and my voice will guide you out of this posture. Keep the arms active extended in front of you inhale completely deeply imagine you are breathing into a balloon that is uh, that is right on top of your sit bones and it's expanding and then exhale Transition back to all fours and find the alignment from the start of this practice. In the tabletop position, tuck your toes 
drop your belly slightly and weight your tail. Lift your behind towards the ceiling. Knees can be generously bent here. Press into both palms evenly. Upper arms are rotating outwards. Push into your thighs and rotate the thighs inwards. And keep reaching the tail towards the sky and relax your head down. Inhale. And on exhale, lift the right leg parallel to the ground. Inhale, exhale, bend your right knee and stack your right hip on top of the left. Inhale, and as you exhale, step your right leg between your arms. So squeeze your knee to your chest and step it in between your arms. The right shin is perpendicular, 90 degree angle to the floor. The left heel is extended. The left leg is straight and push through your left heel. You can also lower your knee here and stay with your knee lower down. You can also poster your knee if you need to. Inhale, and as you exhale, swing your arms up and overhead. Straighten the back leg. Push through the left heel again. Square your hips. So the left and the right hip are on one plane. Right shin, 90 degree angle to the floor, if possible. Your arms up and overhead, and remember, you don't need to see the whole staircase, just take the first step. Inhale, and as we exhale, we circle, a half circle with our fingertips, and look towards the right. Arms parallel to the floor, and twist. Inhale, your arms up and overhead. Exhale, rain them down. You can place your knee on the mat. And together, we'll meet in tabletop position. Find your alignment here. Take a rest if you need to. When you're ready, tuck your toes and leading with your tail, push your tail towards the ceiling. The knees can be generously bent here. Don't forget to push through both the palms evenly and relax your head. Inhale, as you exhale, lift the left leg parallel to the floor. Inhale, exhale, bend the left knee and stack the left hip over the right hip. Inhale, exhale, squeeze the knee into the chest, squeeze it, and step the left foot in between your hands. So, again, the left shin is 90 degree angle to the floor, loop your shoulders back, push through your right knee, straighten the back leg, 
Take a couple of breaths here. Lower your knee if you need to. Pad the knee if it hurts. And inhale, exhale. Swing your arms up and overhead into the high lunge. So Anjana Asana over here, high lunge. And remember, you don't need to see the whole staircase. You just need to take the first step. Inhale. As we exhale, draw a half circle with your arms and parallel to the side of your torso and look towards the screen. Straighten the back leg. Sit down. Square the hips. Bring the left arm to meet the right and rain your fingertips back down to your mat. And close your steps so you can walk your right foot to meet the left into a forward fold. Find your flat back position here. Your palms on the thighs or the shins. Release your palms back down, forward fold. And vertebra by vertebra, slowly pick up your blocks and lift yourself up into our first mountain pose for today, Tadasana. We're gonna place the blocks in front of us at the center of our mat. And actually take one block, place it in between your thighs if you have a block, roll the flesh inside, rotate your thighs inwards, roll the shoulders back, relax your behind, and again, heart over the pelvis and head over the heart. In our Tadasana. And feel the Tadasana and the distribution of your weight. Place the block back, block on block if you need to. We're going to step on the blocks and swing the other leg. So measure if you need one or two blocks. I need two, and step on the block with your left foot, and remember the alignment from Tadasana. Imagine like somebody is pulling you up through your left shoulder, and the right leg is dangling in the air. Stay here, loop your shoulders back, and now swing your leg towards the screen and back. And side, to the side. Don't forget to breathe. Step down, place the left foot on the mat, and feel the difference in your left leg. How does it feel? Does it feel lighter once it's took that first step? Now we're gonna take the first step on the right side. So find your balance. If your blocks are soft, you're gonna have to really uh, balance on your leg. And imagine somebody's pulling you with your right shoulder towards the ceiling. Once you got your alignment and you're stable, 
you can swing your leg towards the screen and then away from the screen. The arms can come to your hips. Oops, if that, if that feels better. Oh, my blocks are really soft. And now to the side. If you fall, don't worry, especially if you have soft blocks, just continue. And step both feet back to the ground. Observe what really changed in your body right now. How does your body feel right now? The legs are hip width apart. Upper thighs rotating inwards, relax your bottom. Loop your shoulders back and away from the ears. And in Tadasana, rotate your arms outwards. And then just rotate the forearms inwards. Find space in the spine, grow tall. Inhale, exhale, pick up your blocks, wave them, lift the right block and swim it behind you. And then place both blocks to the left side, so towards the screen. Walk towards the short edge of the mat, inhale, raise your arms up and overhead, Anjali Mudra above, your head, exhale, hinge from your hips down, bend your knees and come into the forward fold. You can clasp the elbows here, rock side to side. Inhale, flat back position. Exhale, forward fold. And this time, step your right foot back and adjust it. So take a big step. So we're gonna meet in runner's lunge. You can place your knee on the mat if you would like to, or stay in your runner's lunge here. Remember to loop your shoulders back and away from the ears, rest your torso on your leg, and push through your right leg. Take your blocks. You can rest your arms on your blocks so your palms are on the long side of the block. And slowly walk your left foot out to the edge of the mat and the toes spill over the edge of the mat. The heel is rotated slightly inwards. And your arms are directly above your shoulders. Press through your right heel in this variation of lizard pose. Breathe here. Remember, you don't need to see the whole staircase. Just take the first step. You can lower your knee here if you would like to and rotate the hip outwards. You can stay up here and place your forearms onto the blocks for a deeper stretch. Place the right knee onto the mat, push your palms into the blocks or into the mat, untuck your right toes, you can still pad the knee if you need to, and walk your left foot in between the blocks, 
square your hips, so pull your right hip and your left hip on the same plane. Inhale and as you exhale, roll through your left foot and straighten the left knee. And uh, don't lock the knee here, so don't keep it that extended. You can slightly bend it. Flex your left toes. The right thigh is 90 degree angle to the floor and is rotating inwards. The left hip is pulling back. Come onto your fingertips and straighten your spine. One line. And if you're ready, you can walk your fingertips deeper and deeper into the stretch. Take a couple of breaths here. Roll through the ball of the left foot. Place your palms on the blocks and Pull your left knee to meet the right in all fours. Place the blocks to your right side if you're using them. Find your alignment in the tabletop position. Place your chin on the mat. Place your chest on the mat. Point your toes, lift your shins and roll onto the belly. Palms underneath your shoulders. Loop your shoulders up and away from your ears. Legs are parallel to each other. Push into the upper thighs. So upper thighs pushing into the mat. Relax your bottom. Inhale, exhale, lift your head up. Gaze in front of you. Exhale. Release your forehead to the mat and come back to the tabletop position. Take a short break in Balasana, child's pose. Arms are extended and the tail is reaching towards the heel. Inhale as you exhale, come back to all fours. Tuck your toes. and push the tail towards the ceiling and downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Relax your head, press into both palms evenly and slowly walk yourself towards the front short edge of the mat. Inhale, exhale, forward fold, inhale, flat back position, exhale, forward fold, place your fingertips on the mat, and this time, walk your left foot behind you in runner's lunge, loop your shoulders back, extend the left foot, right shin, 90 degree angle, remember? Your torso is uh, on your right thigh. Square your hips, so pull your right hip back. And place your blocks to the inside of your right foot. Now slowly walk your right foot out. So I'm gonna demonstrate so you can see me. 
you walk your right foot out, the right toes spill off the mat, the right heel is slightly rotated inwards, you can again lower your knee if you would like to, or keep your back leg straight. You can also rotate your left foot towards the edge of the left foot, your palms underneath your shoulders. Inhale, exhale, and you can release down to your forearms and a variation of the lizard pose. Whatever suits you best, you can still lower the knee here and rotate the right knee over here outwards if you would like to. Don't forget to breathe and don't forget, you don't need to see the entire staircase, you just need to take the first step. Lower the left knee if you haven't already. Place your palms on the block or on your mat to straighten your arms. Walk your right foot back in slowly and frame the right foot with the blocks. Now the left thigh is 90 degree angle to the mat. Extend the right foot, flex the right toes, so we are flexing the right toes. Walk your blocks back to square the hips, so pull your right hip down, down, and on the same level with the left hip, and here, straighten your spine, inhale, exhale, your fingertips are on the box, on the floor, wherever you want them to be. Inhale, exhale, see if you can go a little bit deeper. Walk your blocks away from your left leg. Pull the right hip crease back. Don't forget to breathe. You've done amazing today. Opening up, releasing all the tension in the hips, grounding down. Roll through the ball of the right foot. Step it slowly back, slide it back. And let the right knee meet the left knee. Again, pad your knees if you have to. You can also fold a blanket here and place it just underneath your knees. So it's folded like this in a big format. And you can place it underneath the shins. So the knees are kind of like dangling in the air. And that will relieve the pressure from your knees. Okay, if you have padded your knees or if you don't need it, we're gonna stand up on our knees, straighten up. Our knees, again, are as always underneath our hip points. Shins are parallel to each other. We are looping the shoulders back and make sure that your heart is over your pelvis. The thighs are rotating inwards. You can even pull your flesh of the thighs inwards. 
The buttock is engaged but not squeezed. And we're gonna swim our arms up and overhead. As we exhale, we place our left palm where our pockets would be on our pants and the fingers are facing down. And now exhale, we do the same on the right side. Loop the shoulders again away from the ears, pull the shoulder blades together, elbows towards each other. Don't collapse into your hips forward, but keep your front thigh pushing towards your heels. And from here, engage your core, pull your belly button towards your rib cage. Inhale as you exhale. Push the chest forward and release your head down. If you have neck issues, just stay here. Don't yank your neck. Otherwise, relax down, look up. Keep pushing the elbows towards each other. Shoulder blades pushing towards each other, pressing into the thigh. And as you exhale, press into the palms, engage your core and slowly lift yourself up. Sit on your calves, bring your knees together, bring your feet together. Palms in Anjali Mudra in front of your heart. This is an active prayer pose, so not slouching. Press into your palms, your thumbs against your sternum, and elbows push to each side of your torso. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale, find the alignment from before. As we exhale, place the right elbow on your left knee, and open towards your left side, side twist. Keep breathing, don't collapse into your shoulders, lift your left shoulder, smile, Twist like a medieval staircase here. And look up. Inhale, exhale, come back to the center and twist to the other side. Left elbow on your right knee. your right shoulder, look up towards your right hand or arm, relax your neck here, don't crank your neck, and keep pushing into the palms, so pushing the palms towards each other, inhale, Exhale, return to the center. Place your palms on the mat in front of you. Swing your legs towards the screen and transition into a seating position. Center yourself on the mat. Legs are extended in front of you, the toes are flexed. Palms are framing your hips. Roll the shoulders away and back from the ears. Align your rib cage over your pelvis and your head over your rib cage. And just for a second, press into the palms and find the length in your spine. Like there's space between each vertebra. Find that length. 
and then release the hands. Inhale, exhale, swim your arms up and overhead, and with a flat back, hinge from your hips like a door forward and keep the back flat. Just try and keep the back flat here, just for a moment. Breathe in. Deeply exhale completely. Inhale, deeply exhale completely and relax your arms and your head down. You can also relax your toes here. Feel this amazing feeling in your body right now. The energy moving around, blood circulating. Think about what you can take from this practice into your daily life. Make cups with your hands, walk yourself, sitting upright, and then slowly transition, lying down flat on your back. So scoop with your hands underneath your knees and slowly roll yourself down onto your back. Make any last adjustments you need. Take a blanket if you're cold. And then slowly extend the right leg out, the left leg out. Palms are facing up and towards the ceiling. Walk your shoulder blades towards each other. Notice any smells around you or any sounds. Inhale deeply, exhale completely. Notice any changes in your body. And when you're ready, close your eyes or soften your face and gaze. Relax your legs, your toes, your ankles, release them into the mat and feel your body supported. Relax your knees, your thighs, your behind, relax your torso, your shoulders, your arms, fingers. Release the neck, unclench the jaw. Notice if your ma mouth is tense, if your tongue is pressing towards the roof of your mouth. Relax your tongue. Release your eyes and your forehead. 
right hand and melt into the mat. Feel every part that is touching the mat and release the tension of the day into the mat. Now focus on your breath. Focus on your body. Remember, you don't need to see the whole staircase. You just need to take the first step. You don't need to see the whole staircase. You just need to take the first step. Now focus on your breath again. And now, release your breath. If any thoughts are coming up, thank them deeply and greatly for being there and guiding you. And then let them pass, pass on and move along. Like you're in a movie, just watching the movie unfold, not judging, not criticizing, just observing and learning. Now bring the awareness back to your breath. Bring the awareness to your body now. Feel your heels and the back of your palms touching your mat. Rotate 
the right ankle in and then out. Rotate the left ankle out and then in. Rotate your right palm or your right wrist around and then your left wrist. Roll towards your screen. Place your head onto your right arm. Stay here in the fetal position. Slowly open your eyes. Place your left palm on the floor in front of you. Push yourself slowly up. The head comes up last. Join me in a seated position. So move slowly. Find your easy seat. Place your hands in a prayer in front of your heart and honor the ancient tradition of yoga with its origins in India. Bow the head to the heart May the wisdom of the body and the wisdom of the mind unite together to support our collective healing and evolution. Bring your thumbs towards your third eye. With love and joy, continue on to the rest of your day.